Well, it's good to be back in Chicago after these four weeks in Rome for the Synod. And uh, while I was there, the Holy Father uh, issued uh, in a new encyclical called uh, De Lixit Nos, that means uh, he loved us. And it is a reflection on the human and divine love of the heart of Jesus, the sacred heart of Jesus. In it, the Holy Father points out something very interesting historically. The Emperor Justinian, who was the nephew of the great Constantine Emperor, who uh, freed uh, the worship of people so that they could become Christ they could practice Christianity without being persecuted. Justinian, his nephew, some years later, wanted to restore pagan idolatry. And so he tried as best he could, but he was frustrated a bit by the fact that people were being drawn to Christianity because the Christians were known as those who reached out and loved the poor and the stranger. And so Justinian thought, well, maybe he should try to imitate them. And so he too began to establish institutions that reached out to the poor and also those who were strangers. But as the Holy Father notes, there was something wrong with his approach. He did it in a way that just seemed to be very perfunctory and a very bureaucratic way, as though it was somewhat mechanical. Well, the Christians did it out of love, and a love that showed respect for the dignity of people, that showed real reverence for people. I thought uh, as I read that how the gospel today really is in tune with that very same truth because Jesus asks us to love God, the one that we revere and respect, but also to love our neighbor as ourself. And the message is very clear. The love that we have for our neighbor must be one in which we show that we revere them, we respect them, we respect their human dignity. It's not just a matter of giving charity to people who are uh, suffering from various uh, needs in life as though we're doing some sort of a uh, work that uh, is just good for society, but that we really have a respect for the dignity of those who are poor. I always like that story of Fulton Sheehan when he was um, head of the propagation of the faith and he was visiting some lepers in a leper colony and he was handing out rosaries to them. And as he went along, he saw this one leper whose hand was eaten by leprosy. There was just a stump there and he was somewhat repulsed by that. And so he took the rosary and just kind of dropped it over his limb and walked on. But after a few steps, he decided that really wasn't sufficient. He needed to go back and show his, the man some dignity. So he took the rosary out of, his, uh, out of his stumpy hand and pressed it back in to show that he had respect and reverence for this man's dignity. That's the kind of love that we're called to. Love of God, revering and respecting God, but also loving our neighbor with that same respect. This week, we're all going to the polls to decide all sorts of issues that are important uh, for our state and our nation and the world, and also electing various officials. What's so very important is that when we go into the booth, it is important for us to make sure that we bring the gospel in our hearts. It is not the church's responsibility or even right to tell people how to vote, and we should never do that. Our job is to make sure that people take the gospel into the voting booth with them a uh, gospel today that reminds us that we should have a great love for people, a one that shows respect. And so the real question as we vote this year is how is it that the people that I choose but also the issues that I decide on are really going to advance the kind of reverence and love in society for us today that really makes us a, a, a society and a state that allows that love to really be shown, that respect for human dignity to be advanced. That really is the measure of what we're called to do in our daily lives, in our political activities, to love with a great respect and reverence for the people that in fact are going to be served. 
And when we do that, Jesus tells us, as we hear in the gospel, as he tells a scribe today, when we love that way with respect, with reverence for others and for our God, we are not far from the kingdom. <laughs>